Hey guys, Nate here. Now credit card payments can be confusing at first, so I'm here to explain it as simply as possible. So when a customer begins a transaction, the credit card information is sent through a payment gateway. Now this payment gateway acts as the mediator between you, the merchant, and the network. Now it is necessary for any business to use a gateway when handling credit card payments. Now the payment gateway then safely sends the credit card information to the network where it can verify the transaction. Now it is vital for the payment gateway to meet PCI security standards to keep the customer's sensitive information safe. Next, the network requests authorization from the customer's bank account that they have the proper funds for the transaction. Now if the bank declines this authorization, the customer's credit card will get declined. Now if the bank approves, meaning the customer has the proper credit or funds for the transaction, the network receives the response and sends it back through the payment gateway to you and the customer. Once the authorization is complete, the credit card transaction is a success. As these transactions occur every day, they are put together to form a batch. At the end of each business day, the network collects the funds from the batch and deposits it into your merchant account. That merchant account is unique for accepting credit card transactions. And there you have it. So when you begin accepting credit card payments in your business, it's important to find a merchant gateway that can handle those transactions properly, ensuring that you meet PCI security standards while providing the lowest rates possible so you can save on your processing fees. To learn how, visit ebizcharge.com.